The next time you're in his navel neighborhood, try the squeegee stroke. When you're eating spaghetti, roll a short strand in your mouth with your tongue. Have your man knead your upper legs to increase circulation, release toxins, and perhaps use a thigh slimming cream. Pretend you're a sportscaster. Same. Does he wear baseball caps to disguise the fact that he's losing his locks? Well, if so, he probably won't appreciate you licking his scalp like a lollipop. The next time you see a waterfall, imagine standing underneath it with a Polynesian lover. Ooh. Tickle his inner thighs with flower petals. Be on the lookout for accidental triggers to your erotic imagination, like wrong numbers, incorrectly addressed mail, and gentle grocery cart collisions. Clean up in aisle seven. Slather each other head to toe in aloe vera and then roll up in wet towels. Mm. I don't know what you're gonna do next. Imagine his nipple area as a chocolate ice cream cone. Oh. Have sex someplace other than the bedroom, maybe on top of the dining room table or underneath his mother's baby grand piano. Be a slobber puss. The wetter the kiss, the more saliva is exchanged. When your partner is really excited, search the recesses of his mouth. Mm. Canoodling in the dunes gives a whole new meaning to fun in the sun. Phone sex is a modern phenomenon. It's very 90s because it's the safest sex you can have. Mom?